came to me, you know. I still can't believe this is happening. But it is happening. That's the permanent nature of change people keep talking about. Very baffling. Only God knows where I'll start from when I get back. Go, please tell mommy to give you the car keys so I can put my things in the trunk, okay? Baby, where is mommy? She's turning off the sets inside. Sister, when next will you be visiting? Do I even know? Opie, I'm just so, so confused. Only God knows the amount of work I have to cover up when I get back to school. I'm just so confused. What are you confused about? Nothing. He was only asking me when I was going to come home and visit. And I was telling him I was confused. You're confused about our condition of where? You need not be, because the almighty hands of God will take care of everything. Put your things in the car, let's go. When Uncle Edwin comes with the plumber, show them the faulty toilet, oh? I will. Okay. Let's go. Funny. I mean, just look at us without it, without meat or fish. When back in the days it was meat, fish, turkey, galop. Eh? There you go. You have food to eat. And now you're complaining if there is meat or fish inside it. Sometimes you amaze me with your silly attitude. Tom, oh, that room. Was that statement for me? Was that statement for me? Of course, now. I don't know. See, that's the only definition to the statement you just made now. What? Uga Chuku! It's a very good one! Stop! 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 Was I the evil hands of men that plotted your father's death and masterminded our condition? What did I do to reverse the situation? What have I not done to give you children the best? Why must I be tormented with the remembrance and recall of our former lifestyle? Why? 
What haven't I done to keep you children going? I've even sold my car. Mommy, please. Shut up! Shut your mouth! Maybe my best is not good enough. Maybe I should join your father. God. Father in heaven, why? Why are all these things happening to me? Why are all these things happening? Mother Mary, why? What's the meaning of this, Lord Jesus Christ? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey! I'm sorry. 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 I
What did the principal say when you called her? She said mom left before dismissal to the civil service commission. Hey. Okay, try, try, try the number. Let's see if it's going down. It's ringing. She's not picking up. Bro. I think we're wasting time. Honestly, let's just set up and start up. She might be in trouble or something. I, I think so. I think so. Let's go. I think so. What's happened now? I've, oh God. I've been calling your line. You've not been picking up. Mia, are you alright? I went to talk to my God. I wanted to know if he is still on the throne. Mommy, why are you talking like this now? I was affected by the disengagement exercise. Have been dismissed from the civil service without pay. Hey. 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 Why do you want to cry? Hey. And you, Abiyajan, why are you looking very gloomy? You don't need to give the devil that pleasure. Because I know that his plan is to rid us of all joy through his able agent, Chiboke Namd. I know that God answers all prayers. He will answer our prayers. Because the prayers of the righteous avails much. Come, my children, let us talk to God. Mommy, there is nothing I did not play with this man. There is nothing I did not play with him. There is nothing I did not play with him for him to allow me to take the practicals. And I will pay for the man all on Monday. But he refused. See, mommy, it's just two of us that I didn't do the practical. And that practical is 30 marks. So, Mr. Bimwa does not know you any longer, okay? I don't know. Just because things are like this. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable that Mr. Bimwa could prohibit you from taking the practicals just because of ordinary 1,500 naira. People have had to. People are very, very wicked. Now, go in and change your dress, oh? Remove your uniform. Ah, you to change that, Mom. What? Good afternoon. This one, you're smiling like this. It's like everything went as expected. Yes, 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 everything went well, everything went well. My name came out tonight on the first list. Hmm. Yes. You don't mean it. You think I'm here? Uh, and they said we have to pay up all the fees uh, before Monday. Which Monday? This Monday now. You know, departmental fees, faculty, SUG, everything. And it's going to cost uh, 78000 um, um, Please, I, I need you to give me the money so I can pay. Then, you know, I'll prepare for the bigger task ahead. Okay. I've heard you. Go inside and look for something to eat. Obi, go with him. Oh. Yes, best. Not like you. I can't struggle for food within this house. No, simply because the man can't do it. I know you. I'm sure that it's just beginning to buy. So let me tell you. Wait, wait, wait. It does not. Being a doctor does not help everyone, especially for people like you that has. Look at this one. Big ambition. Look at this one. That's why I know you. Let me just tell you. Like look at pass your. I got the MVP. Oh my God. 
going to contain all this. How will I survive this? I will survive it. I will live. I shall live. I'm going to proclaim the goodness of God in the land of the living. I will. But wait, though. Mariano. Which school fees are you talking about? I thought your father paid your school fees, paid for the whole session. Yes, now. But we used it, remember? Used it. How? Uh -uh. Used it to pay for the house. That later turned out to be a scam. Oh. You're right. Pardon my forgetfulness, oh? So how much are we talking about? 45,000 naira. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you for a favor. I know it's going to be very difficult. But please, my son. I want you to look upon me with pity. And put me and me alone into God's situation. My son. It has not been easy with us. You know that. Although we the disengaged workers are in court with the state government, but you know that the judgment has not been delivered. So my son, I want you to see reason with what I'm going to tell you now. Tell me, what is it? Please. Mm, what are you talking about now? Um, Ugo. Ugo, please, I, I want you to defer your studies for one year and get a job, my son, please. Mom, 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 mom please, do, don't ask me for this kind of favor, please, 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 do, don't even say it, please, please. Uh, I'm, not going to I'm not happy I'm telling you this. I'm not happy. Uh, I cannot handle all these things alone. Your sister needs 45,000 naira to pay in school. Your brother's school fees are due. The one year rent we paid here will soon expire. The money we realized from the sale of the car has been engulfed in the, in the legal battle to reclaim your father's property. So, it has not been rosy. You know all this. Okay, let me, let me, let me. What's this? What's this now? I'm going to school. I'm going to school. What's, what's it now? I'm going to school. I'm going to school. Every time, I'm the person who always has the best results in this house. But yet, I'll be the one who will suffer. I'm going to school. I'm going to school. I just want you to support me. I'm not happy I'm telling you this. But I cannot do this alone. It has not been rosy with me. <laughs> if my son... Okay. If by next month the judgment is delivered and I'm reinstated, of course you will go back to school. Please do this. Oh, what was this now? You, you, you're killing my dreams. You, you're, you're killing all my ambition. I'm yeah, going to school, I'm going to school. Hugo, oh, please. It's just for you to support me. Oh, I can do this all by myself, please. I'm almost broken, please. Please, my son, please, I beg you in the name of God. Please, you always be now. Oh. You always be now. Hugo, oh, Chupu, you're crying as if it's intentional. I just want you to help me. Why? 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 Why?
I should be able to find a place to stick him within the hotel. Yes. I'm mean, to justify my friendship with your late husband. Yeah. Thank you so much. Ah, it's all right. It's the least I could do. Thank you. Yeah, yeah but you, uh, Ugo. Sir? I advise you to resume on Monday. Yes. Okay, yes. Uh, I'm sure you'll be working at the bar. But maybe as a waiter, but I'm not sure. But I will consult with the manager. Please don't be late, okay? Thank you, sir. Yeah, so yeah. well, that's how we will. Hello? Ah, Mr. O'Connor. <laughs> how are you doing? How is Canada? Not too cool, huh? <laughs> that's a good thing. Yes, everybody, everybody is waiting for you here. Yes, mommy. I prepared your favorite yam porridge. Thank you. Should I set it for you? Yes, I need to eat something. Take a little nap before adoration time. Okay. Let me get you ready. Okay. Uh -huh. Mommy, mm -hmm. I ran into Miss Owens on my way from school. Okay. She said that the judgment on the disengaged workers case is slated for 12th of March and that you should seriously pray over it. Well, as you can see, I'm already doing that. Give me the food, then go to the shop. I'll join you, okay? Okay, mommy. No. Mm. Mm. You're actually serious when you say you're not going for the gym carnival. I've told you, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not feeling well. <laughs> well, then the more reason why you should go, huh? You just like check it out the dance floor. Mm? Come on, Nana, come, 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 let's go. It'll be fun. I promise you, it'll be fun. Get up, dress up. Oh, but I'm not going anywhere, okay? I want to be here. Huh. You know, the rate at which you're going, <laughs> the big boys on campus won't get to notice those beautiful eyes of yours and very sexy shape. Hmm? Oh, well. For those of us who are not as pretty, we have to try out our luck on nights like this. Yeah, that's right. So that when some chairman are looking for massage partners, ooh, we'll have some problems. I'm hot, Anna. You like what you see? You like it? You likes? I'm hot. It's so hot. Yeah. Okay. Have fun in your boredom. Enjoy your loneliness. Bye bye. Character. God have mercy on us. How are you doing? I'm not feeling well. Oh, I can see. It. But does it mean you're not going to go out with me tonight? You know today is SUG night and you have to go and mix up. Do I? Yeah, you do. 
Well, I'm not going anywhere because I'm not feeling well, okay? Baby, you have to go out and catch some fun. Would you stop addressing me as a baby? Because I'm not your baby, okay? My name is Noye, so get that in your head. All right, I, I can see you've not forgiven me for the other day. But Noye, I want you to understand the way I feel about you. You know what? I prefer mingling with people who go to church or who have things, better things to do with their life instead of mingling with people who don't know what their lives are about, okay? So if you don't mind, the door is right there. Please walk out. I want to sleep because, as you can tell, I'm not feeling well. Right. <sighs> All right. I can see you're in a, a good mood today. I'll take my leave, but I'll check up on you tomorrow. Take care and be fine. Achoo. Yes, so my sister. Mm -hmm. Prayer is the key. God is my only resource, and of course the judiciary. What can we do? Okay, my dear. Okay. Have a good night rest. Oh. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, Bia Jolo, get me the umbrella now. It's getting late. Embarking on night night trips just because we live close to this school. I'm not feeling well, mommy. Hey, what is wrong with you? I feel pains. I have a headache. I just feel feverish all over. I'm not really well. Hey, and your temperature is quite high. I think it's stress. My body aches. Don't worry, I'll give you something that will make you feel better, oh? Obia, you look! Mommy, I'm, I'm happy I'm there. Sister, when did you come? Just now. How are you? Nom, nom, nom. Mama, are you going out? Uh, I'm going for adoration. You know, the date for the judgment on the disengagement case has been fixed for the 12th of this month, so we all have to pray about it. But, Mommy, can't you go next week? Hey, Today is the 6th. And there will not be another adoration until after the judgment is delivered. We know that on the, on the 13th, all of us will go and praise God because we know by faith that he will do it for us. I have some anti-fever drugs on the table in my room, so get it for her. Take them. When I come back in the morning, I'll know how you're faring, oh? Okay. Obi, give, give her something to eat. Then come and don't forget. Mm -hmm. won't see you. Take care. We go, um, I mean, we'll be fair, we'll probably go. You know, it's a nice
Robin, what is it? I'll be right there. Oh, where's mommy? Where's mommy now? She went for her duration service. Why? Uh, she's not back yet. Mm -mm. What's up, Did he go with her? Mm -mm. He says I get ready for school. You, when did you come back? Came back last night. Why are you at home? Just go ahead. I don't know. I don't know. You just had a member of our staff that, that went to the adoration ground came and, and, and said. And so, said what? He went to the adoration ground. Uh, he said something about you know gas uh, and there was an attack at the adoration ground. To By who? Which, which adoration ground? It's seven o'clock. This is the news update. It has been confirmed that thirteen people and an unborn child were killed in a stampede at the Jesus Adoration Ground this morning, the seventh day of March. Many others have also been confirmed injured owing to this same cause. Reacting to the situation, the Catholic Adoshes has described the event as an attack on God and its people, whereas calling on the state government to help it by setting up an inquiry to, into the circumstances that led to the event. It's true. Mommy is fine. She called me around 4 30 a.m. and asked me to start preparing for school. Are you and sure? I yes, I should even open the gate for her. The list of the victims who were killed in the adoration stampede had been released and their names include Ms. Beatrice Okwelu, Mrs. Regina Ibokwe, Little Ms. Chinazo Anakwe, Little Master Kimlichi Anakwe, Ms. Teresa Chidialo, Ms. Justine Egwo, Mr. Chigozie Akadike, Mr. Obiazo Miloso, Mrs. Eunice Chukukase, Mr. Kenneth DK, Ms. Christina Egu, Mwadiki Chidebele, Ms. Chidendu Mwadinugu, and her unborn child, totaling 14 people. However, in a swift reaction, the state government has reported a statement from the Catholic Diocese in which they are there. No, it's not her. There must be a mistake somewhere. Worshippers describing it as a yeah. blonde just, no, white flag. Those lists should be the ones that were injured now. Cover up the breathlessness. It's a mistake somewhere. The adoration worship <laughs> and That's aimed at the city. Mommy called me. <laughs> Mommy called me around 4 30 a.m. this morning. But I'm home from my phone this morning. Now, it's a mistake somewhere now. You uh, will. See, let me call her now. <laughs> in the hands of the Almighty God. Stop crying, stop crying, huh? Here. Just keep body and soul together and keep life going, okay? And don't forget, if there's anything I can do for you, do not hesitate to let me know, okay? Why? You are so, so wrong! You should have held on! You should have remembered and know what we'd have been up against! But even you, God! Even you! You know what we're passing through, don't you? Don't you! No, no, no. Please don't blaspheme, please. But Jeffrey, he hasn't been fair. Look at what we're going through. God has acted harshly. No, no, it's okay. It's okay, you've been crying for long. Stop crying. It's not okay. It's not. Where do I start? Where do I stop from? Go 
God will provide. Please. He has always provided. Yes, he will. Why? Then let him provide! Let him provide! He will, Mama, he will. <laughs> I'll believe you now. It's well. Please accept my condolence. Take heart, okay? Oh God. If this is what you've planned, then let it be. But if this is the work of wicked men, then let them suffer. Yes. Let them have no peace. Let them burn in hell. Let them suffer. <laughs> 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 First step towards vacating the court order, confiscating your father's properties, was threatened by the arrest of Dr. Sam Akusa. My source is there. Tell me that uh, they've extracted substantial information that will prove that your father's case is a frame up after all. Uh, I've discussed with the Ministry of Justice, and they've agreed to enter a nolle prosecute in your father's case. So, what is nolle prosecute? That simply means that the Ministry of Justice will not be prosecuting your father and the court orders will be vacated. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lord. For he who dwells in the shelter place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. Yes, okay. My God in him I shall trust. Ah, uh, young lady, I'll just tell you to calm down, okay? Because you should be thankful that your father has been vindicated. Okay? So stop crying. I am, sir. But where is he today? Where is my father today? Where is an innocent man? Where is mommy? Have they not all been consumed by the evil plots of men? For my God never sleeps nor slumbers. Daddy, wherever you are today, Daddy, I know that you'll be a happy man. Because you stood for your right. You too, Mommy. But as for the governor and his cohorts, they will feel so much pain. They will suffer. You need to be consoling your siblings, okay? And you, and Noye, are you not meant to be consoling them? And with, with this, it doesn't lead us to anywhere, so it's okay. I know that, sir. But I just want you to know that they will suffer. They will so much suffer for putting me and my brothers through so much pain. I know, but it's okay still. They will groan and no one will answer them. They will scream and no one will hear them. Term exam is by next week, and if I don't pay, definitely I'm not writing it. Ugo, you can raise some money for him, can't you? I don't have money. All the money I had, I gave to you the last time. I don't have. Fine. 
I'm a drawing then. Sister, what do you mean you're a drawing? What else can I do, Obi? What else? I guess I'll take the responsibility of taking care of mommy's shop so that we can make some money. No. Sister, let me, let me, let me quit. Okay? Then when you graduate, I can now go back. Nah. It wouldn't be fair on your path. At least I have my SSC certificate and he has his. You're the only one who doesn't. So I guess both of us will sacrifice so that you can go to school, okay? <laughs> you wake up in the morning and find your life is torn apart. There is sadness on your face. There is pain in your heart But no matter what the enemy does Just remember this No one can hide from the God of justice He sees everything Sees everything And God knows everything He knows everything God knows, God knows. All the pain that you feel It's one of those things I know someday all of this will come to an end. Right? God is in control. I mean, you're taking a decision he's not particularly happy about. And I know he'll work out something someday. Right? Just take care of yourself. We'll come to visit you from time to time. Right? And get into the car. Back someday. God knows. God knows. All the pain that you're feeling. God knows. All the tears you've been crying. God knows. Everything you're passing through. Hugo. Yes. I want to start making calls at the shop as well. So. If you can lend me some money, it'll be really good. Um, I could buy some cars, booster cars, you know. Because I've sold my phone and most of my properties at school. I, I don't have money on my end. Remember I told you I want to go back to school. So the little money I have, I've been saving it up. Um, I don't have money now, I'm sorry. All right then. I just thought it would be a good investment. If you don't have it, it's okay. It's a good investment, but I don't have money now. Sorry. Come in. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's all right, fine. Yes, sir. Leave it, leave it. Please, what's your name? Uh, sir, my name is uh, Ugo, sir. Ugo, sir? Uh, Ugo Chuku. Uh, Ugo for short. That's good. My name is Tim Connors. You can call me Tim. Okay. Uh, all right, sir. Why don't you get another tumbler? All right, sir. Please leave it. Come, come and sit down here. Come and say it's okay. It's okay. That's all right. Uh, I, Please come, come sit. Sit next to me. Come, smart young boy. Come sit down next to me. Yes. Hasn't your manager told you something about me? Uh, yes, he said a lot of nice things about you. He said uh, you're his personal friend and you're also his business partner. Uh, also, the fact that you need to be properly entertained. Well, 
mm, when you say entertaining, it's just not uh, giving me drinks and food. You know, you have to do a little more than that. As you're a handsome man, you know what I'm saying. I need you. Oh, you need me to help you get uh, girls, and there's no oh, problem. Sir. Oh no! Oh them. no! Leave those girls now. You you can you can be in their place. Ah, right? entertainment. Uh, if you're talking about entertainment, sir, uh, actually there's no. A club come 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 yes, sir. Come come close. Come on, you're a smart young man. How smart you are! Come come come. What's this? So, so stop this. Come to some young man. Please stop this! Oh no! Come on! Stop, stop this! Man. What's it? What is this, my friend? Cool down! What, what What's so much? Please, please, please! No, 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 no! Come, come, come! Gay! Hey, stop it! Stop! Oh, don't you get it? I'm not gay! It is alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. I just don't know. Manager. Edwin! Yeah, yeah, it's me! Tim Connors, yeah! This your boy, I don't know what sort of funny boy you sent here. I just don't like, I just don't like this place. I don't like this your hotel. Rubbish. I told you. Be nice to me. Play by his party. Play by his rule. All these men, the same thing. Sir, sir, you don't understand. He was actually. He was what? Sir, he was touching me. Sir, he's gay. Well, I think he can damn well be whatever he wants to be, but you cannot. You cannot. It is my business for him. You are shutting down Hugo. Eh? 20 million US dollars. He doesn't come by every day. Now, you go in there and finish what you started in good faith. Yes, sir, I'm sorry I can't go back in there because I'm not a homosexual. Sir. Who says you are homosexual? You go. You go in there and play with this man and get my business. You see, you are not the first boy that would do this here, you know. And yours is even by a mutual agreement. And if you do this, I promise you 100,000 US dollars. Sir, sir, it's not all about money, sir. It's not. <laughs> then what is it about? I sacrifice, put you and the family up, sacrificing a chunk of money. That is fine. You beg me for 20,000 naira for admission. Money. And I am offering you 100,000 US dollars. Now that is money. You go. Let's go to my home. You go back in there. Get my business for me. Get this thing done. I'll give you the own money because it's all about money. Sir, money. Sir, I'm sorry, I can't. I, 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 I can't do it. I'm sorry, sir. This is money. This is money. Going out? Uh, I want to go and see Tochuko. I hope this won't be like yesterday's morning duty. Ah, but I told you what's happened now. But at least you could have used the same Uncle Edwin's phone to have called us since he gave you an additional assignment. We were all worried last night. Sister, when I come back, eh, I'll tell you the long and short of that stupid job he gave me. Eh? No problem, when I come back, I'll tell you everything. Young lady, you 
better talk to your brother. Let him tell us. Let him tell us the truth, or I will skin him alive and get the truth out of him. Sir, I come on, shut up. I will, look, I will kill this boy, and nothing will come out of it. Yeah, please have pity on us. Please have pity. I will on kill me. this boy, and nothing will happen. I know that. But just have pity on me, okay? I am everything in the house. I am the mother. I am the father. I am everything. Young lady, listen. You better go out there, meet your so-called pastor or reverend father or whoever and tell him this thing. Know if you can get anything out of him or her, whoever, to settle this matter and make it light or else. This guy, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him here. And nothing will come out of it. Even if the whole people on inside in, the, in this world died, it's not a good reason. For this guy, this particular idiot here, to go and steal his uh, MD's money. I didn't steal anything. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't steal anything. Shut up! Come on, shut up! Maya, yeah, get down! Get down! Please tell me, what exactly did he do? This idiot! Look at his eyes. Just look at his eyes. The way he's moving his right eyes up and down. He went and stood his MDs 259,000 naira. Ah, sister! Come on, shut up! I told you not to talk here! Shut up! I don't know to do Shut up! You're still talking. So, me, a liar. Sir, please forgive him. Please forgive him. He didn't mean to say that. Can you imagine this idiot? You're supposed to go to work. You didn't go to work. The MD, the so-called MD that you said he told you, he, he told you to stay back, said you did not, he did not have one word with you. <laughs> Excuse me, I am talking. And this morning, which you're supposed to be on duty, you did not come. And here you are telling us you are not a rogue. Sir, please forgive me. Sir, can I please put in privately? Don't worry. If you're doing that, I'm giving you two minutes. And two minutes is over. Look at his head. Sir, please take pity on me. Please have pity and forgive him. Who goes like a son to you? Please forgive him and let the police release him. At least, for all time's sake. At least, for the friendship you and my father used to share together. We've gone through so much, sir. Young lady, I have told you. Get up. Get, rise up. I am not God, you know. Now you are telling me to forgive Ugo. Take pity on you. This and that. Now. Is that going to bring back my lost money? Will it? Sir, that's why I'm asking you to find a way and forgive him. Find a way to forgive a thief? You and I know that he's not a thief. You and I know that you set him up. You framed him up just to avenge your crumble business with your homosexual friend. You think I don't know? You think he didn't tell me everything? Listen, I only came here to beg you so that you let an innocent boy go free. Why are you being so wicked? The Bible says thou shall not be wicked. That same Bible says, Thou shalt not steal. Do you know that? He did not steal from you, hypocrite. Leave my brother alone. Proverbs urges people like you not to suffer the fatherless because the Redeemer left. Is it because of your house? Fine. We'll pack up when the house rent expires, okay? Just leave my brother alone. My young lady, I'm just coming from there, as I promised. And the glowing evidence is against your brother's innocence. The only option left under the circumstances, settlement by arbitration, which utterly must involve uh, the paying off of the misdemeanor of a man with a substantial amount. Let's say 150,000 out of the 250,000 to secure your brother's release first, after which the rest can be paid up, okay? Is that the only option, sir? Mm. Yes, but uh, save her for the institution of a legal suit against the police. But, um, I guess then, let's do it now then, sir, please. Uh, that equally requires the money to, 
all we have to do is to get a, a court order compelling the police to release your brother so the, the police are ready to, like, to take him to, to the court. That will take some time because uh, the police will file preliminary objections on account that your brother is still under investigation. Um, can't we start? I believe we can start now. Say so then I just run around, okay, and get us eight thousand naira to start off with. Hmm? Just eight thousand naira to start off. I'm just doing it because it's you. I know your condition, okay? Eighty thousand. Eighty thousand naira. Jesus Christ. Hey. The, the sooner the better. <sighs> Don't worry, Nene. No, just don't worry. I know all these things will settle down soon, right? It's only a matter of time. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll raise 20,000 naira for you, right? God will bless you. Oh, it's nothing, it's nothing. God will reward you. It's okay, it's nothing. Don't bother yourself. Hmm? All I want is your happiness. I want you to be fine. <sighs> I just don't want you to bother yourself over this, right? You know? Yeah, I, I want you to be fine. Just stop it, just stop it, okay? Jeff, why? Do you always take advantage of me when you see I'm in pain or I need a little help from you? Are you a sadist? I'm sorry. I'm just so sorry, Nonye. It's just that I love you so much. I love you so much and it's burning inside of me. Well, let it burn you into ashes. Excuse me. No, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, come, come, come and take the money. Makes our workload here pretty heavy. Mm, but in any case, your brother's case will be handled. Yeah, to surely be handled. Thank you, sir. It's just that my brother has stayed so long already in detention, and his health is really getting bad. Oh, I see. That means uh, you need extra effort from me? Yes, sir. Well, that won't be asking for too much. Well, you see. Young, beautiful girls like you are not meant to be traumatized. I will see to it that your brother's brother is released within the minimum time frame you can have as well. just have to do it for What, sir? You sleep with me. Welcome. How did he go? Obi, I'm just so tired. What do you mean? Didn't you meet the legal aid people again? I did meet with the legal aid, but they're all a bunch of useless fools in that office. Talk to me. What happened? <coughs> hmm? I'm really not on the way, okay? We'll discuss it later. He's asking for my body before he will let you go. This is too much for me. I don't know. Go, please stop crying, okay? That you have to give her to me. She's not giving her to me, please. I'm suffering. It's like I'm in hell here. Please, please. 
I know, I know that. Sister, I'm telling you so much pain here. Please, just, just get me out of this place. I don't want to be here anymore. Please. Look, I'm trying. I'm really, really trying. Please, no, please, I beg you now. You have to try harder. You have to try harder. This place is hell. I'm of innocent now. I'm innocent. Look at me. Promise me. Sister, promise me you get me out of here, please. Sister, look at me now, please. Promise me, promise me you get me out of this place. Today is his ninth day in detention. And they've been torturing him seriously. All I'm asking for is just small money that I can use to commit our daddy's lawyer. So that he can secure his bail. Please. Honestly, man. Things are hard for me now. My moguls have not been responding positively these days. And the anti-financial crimes agency are spoiling our shows seriously. Why? I mean, how? I don't get it. You won't understand. I have told you to come to me so that I will teach you how to make quick money. Boski, I know. Like I said, I will come for that one later. But you have to help me this one. Please. Obi, I've always helped you. Yes. And I can't hurriedly forget the helps you rendered to me when your father was still alive. But now, I am so so dry. I have nothing to give you. Hey, I'm always scared. Believe me. Hey. Ah, do you care for more drinks? Eh? You care for more drinks? Oh, no, thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're okay. Sweetheart, you're welcome. This is my house. That's my bed. You know what? You have a very good time, keep up. I don't care. Now listen to me. If you know what I'm passing through just to do this, and the value of what I'm about to give up just to get my brother out, you know that you would not dare mess with me. Because I swear to Yara, embarrassment, I will kill you and render your family miserable. That is if I have one. Listen. Don't worry, I'm gonna take it easy with you. I never knew that uh, anger and uh, traumas can sometimes beget beauty. You know what? Just do this damn thing because I really don't have time for your pep talks. You're really irritating. So, that's calls for an invitation. I am Barry's Lamentus Obioso, and now the counsel for Mr. Ogojuku, whom you were accused of stealing 250,000 naira from you and has been in detention for the past three days. You have all the history. I know that, Mr. Counsel. Are you here with my money? Uh, not because I see you with a briefcase. Oh, not really. Laptop back. And I did not come with your money. So. Uh, so. What the hell is this? Those are statements from three ex-members of your hotel staff under oath and attached with an affidavit. They are ready to testify against you, Mr. Edwin. The kind of things you do with them in respect to your white homosexual friends. As you can see, Mr. Edwin, I have facts. This is some kind of cheap blackmail. You can go ahead and say that. Now listen, Mr. Would you rather get busted open for the solid things you do while trying to drop someone else into the things he did not do? Or would you, Mr. Edwin, leave that innocent boy alone? The choices are yours. And if I don't? Oh, yes, you will do. 
because I believe you know what those documents before you imply about your freedom and long built fake hypocritical integrity. Ah, is that a threat? No, it's a promise. Hey, hey, you, what are you? I hope you realize that. I forgive you for the money you stole. Not for the business I lost. So, I want you out of my house by next week because the favor I did was for your late mother. You understand that? Sir, I've already told you I'm sorry. Hey, just keep that to yourself, okay? Keep that to yourself. Because it's all right, you've apologized enough. Uncle Edwin, don't worry. You will leave your house when it expires, which is in three months' time. Young lady, I don't know by what you are calculating because by my calculation, the rent expired one month after your mother died. Okay? So you get out of my house. My mother told us that you guys agreed on one year. Maybe you give me some documentation to justify that. By my own calculation, it has expired. So you get out of my house. Do you understand that? Yes, I am, but uh, I sent in my partner, okay? And uh, we already have the ruling. What's the news, sir? <laughs> the court order confiscating your father's properties. Yes. The court order has been vacated. You're fleeing, right? Vacated? Oh, come on! Come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on! The order has been vacated, okay? I hope you're not here! You wake up in the morning and find Your life is torn apart There is sadness on your face there is pain. Consequently, all the seized properties and our father's accounts were released to us. Just remember this no one can hide from the God of justice. He sees everything. Sees everything. And God knows everything. He knows everything. God knows. God knows. All the Love will carry you. You will not die. 